Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Zesty and today is a really, really exciting day because I have another air fryer recipe for you guys. I made the best healthy potato chips with this. This did take me a few times to perfect, but I have it down and I am so excited to show you guys how I make these delicious, crispy, yet healthy potato chips. For this recipe, all we're gonna be needing is one potato, one tablespoon of oil, and a little bit of salt to season them. If you end up liking this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you wanna see more of me, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get to making these healthy potato chips. I am starting off here with peeling my potato. And I'm using a russet potato because it's my favorite kind of potato and it's the one that I use the most. You can choose not to peel it, but after some test batches, I noticed that I had better results with cooking consistency with peeled potatoes versus unpeeled. After peeling, I am using my mandolin to make thin and even slices. Uh, this mandolin has three settings. I'm using the second one because it makes the slices thin, but not so thin that they are translucent. I also have a bowl with cold water that I have beside me to add in my slices as I go. Uh, soaking the potatoes in cold water helps slow down oxidation, which in turn helps slow down the browning. As I'm getting to my final slices, I'm being a little more careful with my mandolin and using the guard for the last couple of slices. Now that I have my slices all in my bowl, I'm gently massaging them just to get some excess starch out. And now I'm giving them a rinse until the water in my bowl is clear. Just like this. So now I'm gonna let these sit for about five minutes while I boil a liter of water in my kettle. Now that my water is boiled, I'm just draining the potatoes so that I can add in the boiling water to the bowl. And I'm letting these sit in the hot water for a total of five minutes. So we're basically blanching them before air frying. Now that my five minutes are up, I'm draining the water from the potatoes. And actually using my salad spinner to remove the excess water. Um, this is just a little trick of mine. You don't have to use a salad spinner, uh, but I do find that this really does help. So I like using it. Uh, just make sure if you are gonna use a salad spinner that you're using a, a sturdy one. Okay, next I'm going to be drying these slices. So I've just laid out a clean, dry kitchen cloth that I'm gonna be laying my slices on. And the goal here is to get as much moisture out as possible. So I do this uh, by dabbing the slices with another dry cloth. and then pressing a layer of paper towel over any excess moisture. Now 
now that that's done, I'm adding my slices to a dry bowl and adding in one tablespoon of oil. I'm using avocado oil here and a few dashes of salt. I always like to add a little more salt after I'm done air frying the chips so that I can season it to my liking. So I'm never too worried about not adding enough salt in this step. Now I'm using my hands to evenly distribute the oil and coat all of the slices. So if there's any slices that are a little stuck together, just make sure that you're just kind of massaging the oil around so that they're all evenly coated. And I'm gonna be cooking these at two different temperatures to achieve the crispiness. So I'm going to be preheating my air fryer to 300 degrees at 8 minutes. And I know there is some air fryers that don't require preheating. Mine does, but it only takes about a minute and a half or so. Now that my air fryer is ready, I'm going to be placing half of the batch of the slices inside so that they cook evenly. You don't want to do the whole batch at once because it will prevent them from crisping up evenly. So you do want to cook in two batches here. I'm also spreading these out as much as possible and only layering a little bit just so that you get the maximum airflow around the potato slices in the air fryer. You're going to want to turn them once within the first eight minutes. Uh, my air fryer actually lets me know when to turn my food, so that's when I turn mine, which is at about the six or seven minute mark. I just gave them a quick shake and I'm separating my chips that are stuck together and just layering them out again in a single layer before popping them back into the fryer. And these are most likely going to be hot when you do this. I am using my hands here, but please feel free to use tongs if these are too hot for you to handle. After the eight minutes, this is what they look like. So not quite ready, but almost there. So I'm just giving these a quick toss and separating any chips that are stuck together before putting them back in. And now I'm setting my air fryer to 350 degrees for five minutes. And this last stage of cooking is just gonna help crisp them up. And just a side note, I didn't bother preheating the air fryer before reinserting them because it is already hot. So I just popped them back in. So if you have the same instant Vortex Plus air fryer like me, it's going to tell you to add the food. But obviously your chips are already in there, so it's all good. And I'll be turning these once before the cook time is over. So this is what they look like after five minutes. So there is a few that are ready. So I'm just gonna be placing those in my bowl and I'm gonna put the rest in that just needs slightly little, a little more frying for just another minute. So you can keep doing this if there's any chips that look like they're still a little soft. And honestly, just a minute or so will do the trick. You don't wanna put them in for too much longer. Otherwise you risk burning them. Right, and that extra minute is all that these chips needed. So these are all ready to go. So I'm just going to season them with a little bit more salt. Shake them up. These came out so perfect. I'm so excited to try them. Okay, so here are my potatoes. Mmm. What I really like about these two is they don't taste like they're healthy potato chips. They just taste good. They're super crispy. They don't taste like that stale, cardboardy, fake healthy potato chip that you 
can hardly find. <laughs> These are super, super good. Mmm. I want you guys to hear the crunch. And I'm sorry if you're creeped out by this, but. It's a chip. These are like real chips. It's crazy. Insane. Amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this or more of me, then definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Bye.